Hello, <laughs> welcome or welcome back um, to Hazel Jane Tarot and this is a rather unusual VR um, to Simon at the Hermit's Cave. He recently did um, a fantastic video which I'll link below where he uh, reorganised his tarot shelves and he called it uh, like Tarot Shelf 2021 and so I thought my tarot shelf is much much smaller and I thought I'd just do a little video on that as a response to Simon. So I'm holding the camera in my hand, so apologies if it's a little bit shaky. So I recently reorganized my tarot shelves as well. This used to be, um, used to be just like half a shelf <laughs> um, in, the, in sort of my, my bookcase, but uh, now it's expanded, as you can see, across a couple of shelves. So I'll just show you what I've got here at the moment. Um, so, uh, first of all, we have my Guy and Tarot, um, the Schiffer edition, and then up here is my uh, independent edition, um, the special edition of the Guy and Tarot. So it's just sitting on top because I have no room to put it. I'd reorganised just before it arrived. Um, then, as you can see, I've got most of my decks are in the boxes and it's sort of just organised according to their box size. So I've got um, my Pierpoint Morgan Visconti Sforza and the Everyday Tarot just fits above that. And then in this stack, we have mostly, I think, US Games boxes in, or in the top boxes. Um, oh no, just Los Garibay as well. Just whatever's in a top box. They're all together here in a pile. So the pre raphaela Tarot, the Smith Waite Centennial, Nicoletta Ciccoli Tarot, Morgan Greer, the Crystal Tarot, in this bag is my beautiful Korea tarot. Uh, it came in a much, much bigger box, which um, I've taken or just put away um, behind the sofa, as some of you <laughs> might have heard me say before. That's where I keep the big boxes. Um, the slow tarot and then my uh, blushing fool on top there. And then here in these bigger hard boxes, we've got the... Um, this Might Hurt Tarot and the Fountain Tarot and the Modern Witch and the Shimmering Veil. And then up on top, we've got the Spirit Keepers Tarot, First Edition and Vitruvian Edition, and the Modern Love Tarot and the Druid Craft, which I've got the smaller, um, the smaller box that came with the smaller guidebook. So as you can see, it's a little bit like Tarot Jenga. <laughs> and then over here, we have some of the bigger boxes. So I've got um, my Game of Thrones tarot. Um, that is the uh, Tarot de St. Croix. And then we've got the Haircrafters tarot and the Painted tarot, the Lightseers Independent Edition and the Tower of the Divine. Now, this is an unusual one box-wise because my Lightseers tarot is actually in a bag. Um, but I have kept this signed and numbered box on my bookcase rather than chucking it behind the sofa with the others. And then some of the bigger, more um, you know, irregular shaped boxes here. We've got the Housewives Tarot, the Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas, the Tarot of the Cloisters, the Margaret Peterson Tarot. Up here is the in again, out again of my collection, the Dark Mansion. <laughs> and in this little box is my Witch's Rings. So I'm moving down so they're easier for me to show you. So my witch's rings, which um, are on pieces of wood, and um, I did those myself. Um, out of a kit that I, um, well, I mean, it wasn't a kit. My friend made up a kit by getting me the pieces of wood, um, and then and a book about witch's rings, and I made my set then. So that sits in that box. Okay, so, um, and then you can see I've got my nice my big rose quartz and my big amethyst sitting and that is my tarot shelf and then on the second shelf down we have my oracle decks so there's a little bit of daylight coming in um causing a little bit of glare there okay so what have we got here um this big box which doesn't have any writing on the side that is the wild unknown archetypes and on top of it i have some of the the teeny tiny boxes um oh there is my 
the string hanging down. Oh, I forgot to show you my tarot decks that are in the bags. Ah, okay. Uh, sorry. So um, in the red bag, that is the story medicine. Um, what's in that bag with the stars on it? Um, and then, let's see what's in here. The Anna Kay is in that bag. And then we have the Guy on Tarot, Llewellyn Edition. The Dreamkeeper's Tarot is in this lovely blue bag. And then we've got the Numinous Tarot is in the rainbow bag. I've got the Triple Goddess Tarot in a little Triple Goddess bag. And then we've got the Mythic Tarot and um, in that lovely green bag is my lightseer's tarot it matches the bags okay so that's the tarot decks that are in the bags so back to my oracles um so i've got them mostly on a separate shelf so the little box is on top of the uh, wild unknown archetypes is the little inspired by freedom mini deck and my only lenormand is under the roses and that goddess's deck is this one which i got fairly recently as well and then we have my treasured Mother's Wisdom deck. Um, and then in these, again, they're sort of, it's deck Jenga, so they're organized by my box size. So we've got Seasons of the Witch, Queen of the Moon. They're both published um, by the same people, I think. I've got the Ma Magdalene Oracle and the Elemental Oracle. And they're, just their boxes are all the same size. And then I've got a few of my favorites on top here where they're easy to get at. Manifesting Your Greatness and... This one with the blank spine is the Awakened Soul Oracle by Ethany. And then in next to it is the tarot or the Oracle of the Mystical Moments. I don't have that tarot yet. It's on my list. And then some more bigger boxes, which used to be stacked on their sides, you know, like books, but I've put them this way just to fit more in. So we've got the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards, the Mythic Oracle, which I got to work with the Mythic Tarot and still haven't really paired them together yet but I'm, I will get around to that at some point um the Gaia oracle which was my very first oracle deck um the earth power oracle and the ancestral oracle of the Celts and then over here some of the even bigger boxes we've got the mystical healing reading cards Celtic tree oracle the goddess oracle and the wings of wisdom um and the Amenti oracle and then these are some of the hay house boxes so we've got the Psychic Tower of the Heart, um, Angels and Ancestors, Wisdom of the Oracle, Earth Wisdom Oracle, that wasn't Hay House, but the box is the same size, I think, the Divine Feminine Oracle and the Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray, and then Sacred Creators on top, and then a few more um, favourites, the Threadbound Oracle, which is just new, you haven't really worked with yet, and the Personal Power Oracle by Deja Druitt, which is fab. And then on the end of the shelf, a few of my sort of key guidebooks. There's that um, Library of Esoterica tarot book, um, the guidebooks to the Gaian tarot, the Mythic tarot, the Numinous tarot, and that's the beautiful Korea tarot. What's this sticking out the side? Oh, it's a, a lovely art card that has managed to get stuck in the side there. That's a painting by John Lavery, who's an Irish painter. I'll just stick it back in there. <laughs> and this box on top is my crystals, which I'd have a separate video on, um, which I'll see if I can link below as well, and um, where I just walk through what's in my crystals box. So that just sits on top there. And I've got a few, my little selenite pillar and, no, it's not selenite, sorry. What's that? My fluorite pillar and my lovely smoky quartz pillar and so that's it for the living room i've got a few more in the kitchen which i'll show you now okay so here we are in my kitchen and um this is one of the kitchen is one of the spaces where i spend a lot of time and i do a lot of my um tarot reading at the kitchen table so sorry about my finger there uh, so a few of my newest decks are sitting here on my dresser in the kitchen the Celtic Wisdom and the Fairy Wicked Tarot, which I'm just starting to investigate. 
and this one is hasn't been unwrapped yet that's um the story medicine animal woman so they're just sitting there partly because there's no space for them in the, on the bookcase yet and um just because i'm starting to have a look at and work with them and over here on my dresser is where i keep my daily my daily draws so i've got this little mini easel and the tarot deck that i'm working with i usually keep sitting in front of the easel um, and I keep a labradorite, um, a selenite on top of the deck and um, a rose quartz around those. Um, and that's been the setup I've had there for quite a few months. And then up on top of my dresser, you can see these are the decks that are in the sort of out tray um, that I want to um, sell or give away or trade or something. So they're all just sitting up there to create space in the bookcase. And I've got my um, Celtic Moon up there, which I'm using at the minute for daily draws. And this box, if I can lift it down with one hand, sorry. Sorry about the crazy um, video. This box has got all my essential oils and candles and um, things like that in it. So, and that lives up on top of my dresser. So there you go, that's a peek at my tarot shelf for 2021. And uh, if anybody else is doing um, a video like this, I would really love to see it. So please do let me know in the comments and um, thank you so much for watching.